I'm here in Dulwich, South London, to meet acclaimed actress and comedian Helen Lederer, who's agreed to undertake some ecotherapy. So, Helen, um, tell me, what are we, why are we here today? What are your concerns? My concerns are that we are clueless and that we're spending a lot of money that we don't need to and we're not being very good to the environment mm -hmm. and we're just very thick about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And what, what sort of green things do you already do? We recycle, we put, we have water in this situation, although you can actually see probably around the house we also have bottled water. What we do is we keep the old bottles and pour this water into the bottled right. waters because that makes me drink what I'm supposed to drink a day. Um, and we put cans, we actually wash the cans out and we put those, so we've got blue plastic boxes and we'll, re you know, we do what we're told in our borough basically, mm -hmm. but we don't go beyond. Right. Don't know enough about climate change, know that it's a problem, know that it's probably good for growing wine in England, mm -hmm. uh, but beyond that, um, I think we've got a lot of problems and I'd be very, very keen to um, be a kind of good person in quotes and uh, you take it seriously. I think it, it's got to start mm -hmm. uh, from inside and then should have bigger repercussions. But actually, because I live a mad life, I don't take it on and I don't listen properly and I'm suspicious of gadgets. Your last electricity bill was £356 for a quarter. That is a lot of money, isn't it? To mm. spend on electric lighting, I guess. Mm. And computers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the computer on all the time, mm. probably between us for mm. working. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Mm. We've got a selection here of different low energy light bulbs here. Perhaps you want to have a look at yeah, some of them. Yeah, I'm attracted to this one because it is a bit like Oxford Street in our house. Um, now, this is pretty. This is, I wonder what, is that obviously ecological yellow paint on that? Is that to give it a nice kind of amber glow? Yeah. I'm liking that already. Okay. And that, because I have a lot of lights that take these little sweet little bayonet things mm -hmm. that's pretty I, i'm optimistic about that okay. and what's good about that one then well obviously it uses about a fifth of the energy of a normal one and the thing mm -hmm. about normal um light bulbs is they waste most of the electricity so these ones use a lot more and they also last a lot long, longer this one has a, a bulb life of eight thousand hours I'm trying to work how long 8,000 hours is, but well, it does those... feel quite a long time, yeah. an eternity almost. Yeah. Somebody's lifetime or maybe a hedgehog's lifetime, mm -hmm. who knows. Now we take our very hot, excessively indulgent electrical light bulbs out and replace with our pretty... Oh, put the hat on, let's see. Actually, that's quite... Well, it looks nice without the hat, doesn't it? And compare it with the other one. There's the burnt bit. Do you know what? That might be really brilliant. That's an example of something that works really well, looks even nicer, keeps costs down, and does good work for the planet and the world. And then obviously your gas bill's still quite high as well. Um, it's sort of two, three hundred pounds a quarter. Um, obviously you've got quite a big house. So do you, do you, are you the one who sets the controls for the gas? I don't know how to set the controls. I'm kind of like a Luddite. I'm in denial about mechanisms, which is something I've got to kind of really open my eyes to. So we, we're just lazy. What we've done is we've set a system and we should change it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you just left it as it ever, forever? You bet. Because the thermostat says it's about 24 degrees in here which is at least three degrees higher than comfortable the normal and behavior though, and your, ga your heating isn't even on at the moment from your radiators so it's probably likely that you're in a very oh. warm place and you've um, got, you know you've got quite a big house that's very mad and mm. very unhealthy mm. we should just put a jumper on didn't we yeah so so here is the thermostat which is right by your back door yes so it's quite cool here right and obviously Usually they, you know, they don't want them in the rooms because it's too hot. But your your house on the on our thermostat mm. on our, is saying that you're sort of 23, 24 degrees, and this is obviously in quite a cold place. Yeah. So it could be affecting the temperature that your house is being put up to oh. because it's in a very very cool area. Oh right. You're not getting a realistic. Mm. Like it's not doesn't know what the real temperature. So is. where should this be? Well, it usually goes in a hallway more centrally. Uh, that would give you a better reading. So it might be that your you know your heating's running higher than it needs to ah. to compensate for the fact that the 
thermostat here is in a very cool place. So is it quite complicated to move a thermostat to a more representative area? Yeah, but the other thing is to think about just having the thermostat lower. Oh, So therefore simple. it just guesses. So if you put it so down So I'm a couple turning of degrees, it down, what, to there? 18 is actually the amount that people say is okay for Fine. people generally. Done it. And you see Sorted. what the difference is in your bills and Good. heating. So simple. What did it take? Nothing. Nothing. Okay.